Hello, I am getting ready to take my 2009 GMC Yukon for the third time to try and pass smog. Now the car has about 70,000 miles, runs flex fuel and or E85. It's got less than a quarter of a tank. I'm not sure if that matters. Um, so here I'm going to be using an OBD2 reader called Blue Driver uh, and that's just to get me a level of confidence that it will pass so the OBD2 uh, reader, you install the application on your phone and it connects uh, via Bluetooth. It's got a nice little feature to check for smog there in the middle. Uh, again, the name is Blue Driver. So, and it does uh, do a nice summary that you can see there. Now, it does tell me that there is a possible issue. EVAP system is not ready, but I've kind of read up on the internet um, that it's not actually required in California but I wasn't quite sure um, there was a lot of mixed messages so here I'm gonna be taking the car uh, to the smog shop this morning and to actually see if that's true uh, everything else looks good so uh, fingers crossed I'm gonna take it to the shop and see what happens. So I am at the uh, Sang Smog shop in Anaheim for the third time. Uh, very nice man, by the way. Uh, smog check comes with a bottle of water and one free retest if it fails. So my first visit, it actually failed with EVAP uh, valve solenoid. It was bad, so I had to get that repaired on a separate trip. So my total cost for the smog visit was 41.75. The second time, uh, drive cycle wasn't ready due to the uh, oxygen monitor was not ready. So I used up my free test there. I had forgotten that I had the blue driver all along, but somehow forgot about it. So uh, I drove it for another week and the oxygen sensor monitor was finally ready with the exception of the EVAP system. So by the third time, I had some level of confidence that it will pass uh, although I was still unsure, uh, but the third time it finally passed, even with the EVAP system not ready. So the cost of that was forty-one seventy-five plus eight dollars and twenty-five cents for the smog cert for a total of fifty bucks. So maybe that is enough proof and hope that it will help you save time and money by passing it the first time.